Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing a video game. Uh, it's called Legend of Zelda. Last time we defeated the mighty Aquamentus. Finally, his ring of terror shall end. Uh, we're just gonna go straight to Dungeon 8. <laughs> like, we don't really have anything in inventory to do at all at this point. Uh, I'm full up on potions still, right? I sure am. I guess there's a space in my inventory now where meat used to be. Um, I don't think there's another... I forget if there's another, like, meat barrier at some point in the game. Um, I legitimately do not remember, but I can't afford meat right now, so... I mean, it'd be weird if they did that twice in a row. I think that'd be kind of weird. So, uh, we spoke to a lot of strange old people in this game, and a lot of them had a variety of things to say. Remember the one that said something about a secret in the tree in the dead end, something like that? Some people posited that that could be the invisible wall. And honestly, that's not ridiculous, but I always thought it referred to this little passage here, where you got a little dead end, like mid-screen. And yeah, here's level 8, it's just like, in this thing? I don't know, it's just like, it is... Like, the last level here, level 8, we're gonna complete the Triforce. And it's just in this... In this in this hole in the ground, in the middle of the woods. Very, very, uh, oh boy, I... Yeah, there we go, I did it. Very, just, I don't know, like, it's just there. It's very undignified. But maybe that's just what it wants. Alright, Gibdos. And... Knights. And the ability to fly. Alright, but I do have the magical sword of Mickey Mouse now. Which means I can kill warm Dark Nut in one stab, and the blue guys in two stab, I believe. Which makes this a lot less scary. Like, they've almost become normal enemies. And check it out, it's the Bible! And I'm not being silly. Uh, in the original Famicom version, this thing's called the Bible. You can even see a little cross on it, kinda. Uh, it is a item that is way up there in the, like, the passive inventory. And, um, but yeah, it was just translated to the magic book. It's technically a downgrade! <laughs> um, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I'm gonna show what it does as soon as I find a suitable target. Uh, it is not something necessary to beat the game. It's a fun thing. A lot of treasures in this game are just like, are just like fun things. Have fun in the sun. This is perfect. Whoosh! There we go! Now the magic wand uh, does fire. It leaves a fire on the ground. And I call it a downgrade because, uh, strictly speaking, when that happens, you lose the... I think it reduces it to Wands DPS. I'm not sure how, but I'm I'm pretty sure it does. I just wanna check these out. Okay. I was like, why, why would you ever go in this room? There's nothing here. Did I get a key and I didn't notice? My key is at two. No, I think I got a key in the manhandler. I don't know. All right, well, that was that room. Welcome to the sand pit. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you know it. Uh, Alright, uh, we're gonna try bombing here. Like, Dungeon 7 was here to teach us all about the joys of bombing things. And, uh, we're going to keep that going. Alright, just all the dark nuts. Have a nutty day. While, uh, yeah, gargoyles are around. But yeah, see, like, so, remember, I could, like, we met the Blue Dark Nuts in Castle 5, and, strictly speaking, I could have gotten there with a magic sword, and they're a lot less bad. Uh, alright, well, yeah, I guess, I guess, whoops, well, I guess I'll use that too, but yeah, I guess using 
Like, what? Oh, hey. Full voice. What are you doing here? Can you even be attacked by a normal sword? You can. One hit from the strongest sword. I want to- I want to see. Two. Missing three. Eh, it's not the end of the world. Ugh, I just cannot play. Alright, that's not the end of the world. I mean, yeah, it's still- it's still a thing, but you know. It's fine. I don't know. I'm saying things. That happens. Whoa, an empty room with these guys. Wild. Alright. Poink. No. Alright. Doink. And, uh, just kind of wobble around. And backstab a guy in the back. Uh, see, this room has a purpose. I found a key in it. So I'm like, okay. I think I'm down with moving forward now. And so I do. But like I've said before, and I feel like people have seen, I like to explore in vertical slices. Horizontal slices, rather. I don't know why I keep mixing those up. Alright, so... Alright, cost a key to get... Uh... The fairy, huh? By which I mean the compass. It's like the least important item in the whole game. That's fine, though. It's there. You know, it's nice. We get to cross a river. That's always fun. I mean, we can see that, you know, the secret is there! It's there in the map. I mean, it makes more sense once you actually have the ability to read the shape of the, the map. That is true. Welcome to more stuff. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna worry about if I want to, okay? Mom? Alright, just, yeah, just hit a guy. I'm- why did- why did that hurt? Why- how did I manage to hurt you there, friendo? I don't understand that. Alright, welcome to the sand pit. Yeah, I did not need, uh, to use a key to get here. By the way, look at that, Goma's back, but this time it's blue! Yeah, that means it takes stronger. It's a stronger version of a boss, except this time it's a mid-boss. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you need to be, like, really in the middle, and it's moving all the time, and it's also throwing projectiles, so... Oh, actually, you don't need to be that precise, it looks like. Never mind! Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death! Remember that. And remember how every land in this game is very clearly labeled. <laughs> yeah, see, I could have just been here, so that was a waste of an arrow. So either you just go here, or you can use an arrow, I guess. It's weird. I don't get- Oh, hi. That's nice. And I can't take a hit from a Gargoyle Blast and still stay at full. Uh, 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 what? Yeah, see, demonstrated right here. What? Yeah, yeah. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, when you're at full strength, this goes from an impossible-seeming chore to genuinely kind of fun. <laughs> if not extremely silly. Yeah, that's where we were. So now we're gonna go straight up to a room with more of these. Uh, this time I got, I got that. So I don't have my sword beam. Never mind, I found it again. It was behind the cushions. Uh, it's always there, man. Uh, no, no, yeah, there go, stab you in the feet. Doink, yep. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you want something difficult? Put a thing, that, like, put a Rinka shooter in the middle of a room, and then put two. Why not? Whoops. Go. All right. I just kind of walked into you there. Like I, I took a step into your hurt zone, and then I got hurt. All right. Well, here's more critters. Uh, I will go ahead with clearing this place up just in case, because we don't know. Killing everyone could unveil like a key or something. I'm cursed. I cannot stab. Sorry, I got better. I should have warned you. I see you can get bombs that I'm not gonna use. Alright, well, maybe there's a place to go underneath us. Or above us. There isn't. Bet you're shocked, surprised, and malcontent now. Uh, I know I would be. Why am I, ch like, I'm not gonna clear it. Like, if there's one room... Okay, well, you know what? If they're just gonna come to me, I'm, I'm gonna clear it. I feel like... Oh, wait. We're just, like, at the end, aren't we? Maybe. 
Well, I'm clearly not done. Wow, there is a lot of yow yowls here. There's just like a ton of pole voices. Welcome to pole voice country. They're all here. That's where they all hang out. In the Spiralatron. My favorite flavor of water. It's not a flavor, nor is it water, though. That's okay. Alright, and this leads like we can hear the monster breathe. It's pretty good. It's very good at breathing. This looks just to be the standard, like, uh, we put Rinka shooters in the middle of the screen. There's no reason, I don't think, to kill these because. Like, we have. Oh, it's to go back. Alright, so that's the go back machine. I'm gonna lay down some bombs here since. Oh, well. I ran out of time. I'm still gonna lay down some bombs here because I feel like the game is wanting to give me bombs. I think that's a sign to something. So see, there's a bomb right here, for example. Wait, that's gonna lead to the boss, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because you can hear him roaring. Going like, ROAR! I'M SO MAD! Yeah, it's Gliok. Remember Gliok? He's everyone's favorite Gliok. Let's go in his face and stab at his head! Check it out! It's Gliok! <laughs> so you have to bomb your way there, that's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna get the Triforce yet. I'm not done. I don't have the map and something else, possibly. What? But you already got- that's right, I already got the treasure of this place. Never mind, clearly I have everything. <laughs> what do you want? Tenth enemy has the bomb, so... In this case, this old man is just kind of fabulating about... Drop rules? I changed my mind. Since I want to probably explore from somewhere else in the castle. I'm just gonna get up here and get out back to the entrance and start over from the start, I guess. Look. Hey, my heart's are filled, by the way. Uh, my rib cage cannot contain any more pumping, pulsating muscles. And we got the Triforce! Yeah, we do that. We have that. A Triforce is ours. Alright, so where did I try or didn't try to put bombs? Did I try here? Yeah, I remember thinking, wow, this room serves no purposes, and I put some bombs around, and I didn't get anything. Alright, this is... Yeah, I think I bombed everywhere here, too, and only the top led anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna do this one step at a time, uh, with the slowdown. The slowdown is fine. We love slowdown, alright? Can I bomb down from here? That's what I wonder. No. Alright. Can I bomb here? No. Okay, uh... Room above this one. Forbidden memories in my brain. And this is, like, the me that has played this game before that is talking. Not someone who is experiencing this game logically for the first time. But I think there's more development upward. Ah, uh, okay. That's a start. That is a more up that I can go, where there's a manhandler again. Sure. It made a little, like, boo sound. That's always fun. Hey, here's a map! <laughs> you have to bomb into the map room. Like, they're doing this on purpose. Welcome to the lion! And here we can see that there is three rooms left at the very top. And possibly bombing into the lion's eyeball? Possibly bombing into the lion's eyeball. Oh wait, and that's actually like a room. Oh, that's fun. All right, hey, gold in your eyes. All right, well here's a weird little nothing place. Always a good time. Just destroy everything. Destroy the world. 
There might be nothing here, or you need to bomb over to the side. I might be... Oh, and you give me bombs, which is really nice. I was gonna say, like, I might be heading into bomb problems. Yeah, bombs are a funny thing in this game, because you always need them. But you don't always know how you're gonna need them. And in order to know, you have to just use them. Oh boy, uh... This is a room. Remember that blue goma? What if also Rinkas? Yeah, what if? Sounds like a bad time if you ask me. It's not that bad, except that its unblockable projectiles are identical to- I'm gonna use a potion, I'm just gonna flat out use one. That's fine. Yeah! The longest, most grating sound effect ever created by man. Finally, as a species, we have awakened. Uh, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my arrows because I have to. How do you do? See, there I tried to press up and fire, but, uh, I didn't do it fast enough, I think. Or, like, confidently enough? I don't know. So, here's this part. Whoa, check it out, it's a room, there's things around. Missed. Good job. Right? Bats and pole voice. We know how it goes. They're just kind of run- Bats? I call y'all bats. The weakest enemy in the game. How you feel about that, dark nut? Whoa. There we go. Got it clear before it can push. That's a law. And here is the real treasure of this uh, dungeon. This is the one that matters. This is the lion key. Or, as the modern community calls it, the any key. Because as you might have noticed, my key has changed to an A. I think the official name is Magic Key, and it's basically it's infinite keys. I do not need keys anymore. And it's a key you can just reuse all the time, basically. Wow, good job. This is a trap room, but it's filled with no one that matters. Now you might be thinking, oh, why, though? And honestly, this may come as a shock, but you know, even though I have completed the dungeon and yet I'm still here, like I have the full Triforce and I'm still here, let's demonstrate. Wow, the A state, an A. Yeah, the game isn't over. Spectacle Rock has death or whatever, right? We now have to find Ganon's house and go like kill him or whatever. Wow, I'm just getting messed up. And, uh, that'll be the secret ninth dungeon. Oh my gosh. That you need the Triforce to access his home and actually rescue the princess. So, alright, you got it. It's not very complicated, so I hope you do. And, um, yeah, it's a, it may come as a shock. Level 9 is pretty huge, it's pretty big. And having unlimited keys is extremely relevant there. So, you know what? Considering I still have plenty of time... Yeah, that's slow down. I think I'm going to head there. And so next time we're going to be starting right at the dungeon. And uh, on the way there, I am going to buy a dose of potion. Because <laughs> I use one of them. Do I remember where there's a shop? Not too far. Not in the slightest. Alright, so this is a little out of the way, I'm gonna be real, but it's like... It's the... It's the potion shop I know, and I, I have always used. So here's a fun thing. So you know I have a blue potion right now, right? Like if you look right up here, yeah. Well, you can buy another blue potion and you mix them up together, and it gives you red potion. That's how it works. It's beautiful. Science is beautiful. Look, I got an empty inventory space. I will pay the $60 to fill it up. It bothers me! I want that meat in the inventory. It's where it's supposed to be.
All right. Yeah, I don't know if I'm editing or chipmunking or whatever, but uh, at this point we are in the northern mountains. We have not spent a lot of time together up here or around here at all on video. So, uh, this is probably gonna be included. I'm, I'm pretty sure there must be some bombable stuff amongst all that, but I, I don't remember. <laughs> I legitimately do not know. Uh, okay, so, Spectacle Rock. I forget if we got on that screen or not before yet. Yeah, this is heading towards, uh, the Infinite Mountain. We've been here before. Rocks are falling. It's very rude. Okay, so this is the river. We're gonna go up one. You know what? Let's 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 explore for fun. You know, let's let's go over here where I don't need to be. Uh, well, let's just look. You see, there's rocks here. It's pretty good. Rocks are good. Here's arrow. I don't think there's anything you can do in this arrow room. Remember how I said secret at the tip of the arrow or whatever? I've, I, I've never understood what this is for. And so I'm thinking this is going to be useful maybe in the second quest. Which uh, I've never played. Uh, but yeah, just big ol' amassment of arrows made out of rocks. Just kind of hanging out over there, you know? Come over here and have fun with us. I guess, I don't know. Destroy all these centaurs. I don't need to, but in fact, I'm just kind of getting myself killed for the pleasure. I'm gonna kill a pea hat to get out of here. Give me health, because I lost some health just kind of bungling around. I'm a bungler, okay? Ah, there we go. Look at that. It kind of looks more. So, yeah, this is supposed to look like glasses. It's spectacle rock, obviously. I think it looks more like a pig snout, personally. That means it's me, but. I'm hoping for, like, a fairy so I can start next time full. Well, next time we're not starting full. Uh, hopefully that does not end us. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Check it out. See, it's the nostril. Next time we enter the pig's nostril. Uh, what's over here? <laughs> There's just a shop. Welcome to the shop at the end of the universe. Hey, you can get a potion refill right here, right at the entrance of death, huh? That makes sense to me. Do you think I can, like, fight these and get healing? No. And yet, here I am. Getting hurt more. Yeah, you're right. I am getting here just to get hurt more. What are you gonna do about it, huh? can't do anything about it. No fairies, no nothing. Yeah, I'm slightly weaker than I was. All right, so next time. I'm going to guess I'm going to do the castle in the one session, but it's like it's bigger than World 7 and it's also the hardest. So we'll see how it goes. Like, honestly, I can't do any guarantees.